Hello all and welcome. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Razer Kishi smartphone gaming controller. You are able to purchase this controller for both Android and iPhone devices. I have left the links in the description and comments below as to where you can find the controller for your device. Within the box you will receive just the controller and the user manual. There are no additional cables to power the controller as it has passed through charging. Therefore it is powered by your device. So when your phone is running low on battery, simply plug your charger directly into the controller for it to then charge your phone allowing you to continue working your way through the levels of your favourite games. To connect the handset you will need to unlock the controller at the back, which will then allow you to extend it to fit the size of your phone. I have connected the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, which is a large smartphone. It fits the device comfortably, however if you are wanting to attach a larger device, I think it would create strain on the elastic at the back of the handset, which could lead to it wearing over time. It is compatible with Android devices that support a USB-C input and run Android 8 or higher. In terms of iPhone, it is compatible with all devices from the 6 Plus onwards. On the controller, there is the D-pad, dual analog sticks, home button, XYBA buttons, back button and the four trigger buttons. All of the buttons are in positions that are similar to other gaming controllers, especially Xbox ones. Therefore, it feels very familiar when playing with, meaning there will be a lack of mistakes in vital gaming moments. The controller is compatible with numerous cloud gaming platforms, such as xCloud, Stadia and more. You'll be far from limited when it comes to choosing the right game to play. The controller feels extremely comfortable and lightweight when in use, meaning that you can play for hours without any issues. Because it connects directly through USB-C, it is able to offer ultra-low latency gameplay, allowing you to play your game smoothly without any lagging. When the controller is not in use, it folds into a compact and portable design, making it the perfect travelling companion to join you on a daily basis. There isn't an aux output for headphones, and there is no way for you to plug your headphones directly into the handset. So, if you usually play games with headphones, you will need to use a Bluetooth pair. However, if you listen to audio out loud from your device, do not worry, as there are speaker cutouts on the controller to ensure that you can listen to the audio with ease. The cost of the controller is fairly expensive, though if you want to be in with a chance of winning one of these controllers, follow the link in the description that will lead you to our Instagram page, where it will tell you how you can get your hands on one of these controllers for free. If you have any questions regarding the controller, please ask away in the comments below. For more content to keep you up to date with the latest tech and mobile accessories, please hit our like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.